university is just a different demon to deal with just expressing my true feelings about how much i hated school as as we speak i sold my soul to vets again hi everyone my name is linda Mtsweni. man <laughs> a lot of things have happened oh my god so many things have happened and i will say that i've always been quite afraid of talking about my own personal experience journey with aeronautical engineering with vets with being a student because <laughs> i hadn't completed that time right and i was just so afraid that oh my god if this degree somehow tells me or i get academically excluded i'll just look back to the videos and just kind of see all of the reasons why i couldn't make it but um now that i've made it i think i'm just more comfortable with opening up about my actual experience about my marks about you know how i felt about each course and probably about lecturers mm. <laughs> so course got more difficult got more demanding i somehow shied away from talking about um my personal experience like i said but um, also good things have happened. Good things happened when I had to move out of rest as soon as I completed. I completed medium. Our results came out on the 11th of uh, June 2024. It was about around 8 p.m. We were told that they are coming the following day, but they came earlier. I actually did a shot about like my whole reaction after i found out that i've actually completed it was like before and then after after i received an email from oh my friend who was, well those who are in the school of mia in mechanical industrial and aeronautical will know who michael poor is after we received an email from him about max oh my god it got hot but then it was that day it was that day that exact moment when things just unlocked after so many years of trying and trying not giving up praying and changing strategies you know of studying you know consulting more and just it was obviously a trial and error kind of basis but at the end it worked out just fine well i had to move out of press after completing and then i think i spent about two months at home but i didn't spend two months at home because um I was looking for a job i had already secured a job i was just waiting for a completion letter for some reason vets took quite a long took about a month for them to give us completion letters and i couldn't start working without the completion letter although my self-service was showing that um i've passed everything i don't have any remaining modules but they needed that completion letter is somehow an equivalent to your um, degree certificate so they needed that so i had to wait to get that and then I started working in September and yeah, uh, before even completing last year, I, uh, I went to Rwanda. It was actually my first time flying. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> A whole aeronautical engineering student uh, had their first flight when they were about to complete. It doesn't sound right, right? To me, uh, it makes sense if students are studying aeronautical engineering for them maybe in their third year to somehow the school or the university has to maybe arrange a flight for them but well i guess i don't know curriculum just set out differently but to me if i were to make suggestions i will say that please can you take all the third years on a trip take them on a trip they must they must fly the students must, must fly they must at least spend two hours flying okay it, so yeah i went to rwanda i was with my mother for the first time and then i completed my degree started working <laughs> i have to move to my own place i went to port elizabeth i went to cape town i went to Deben. then i went to russia <laughs> then i went to us recently ah and i had uh, a graduation ceremony oh my god there are a whole lot of difficulties and challenges that um have happened in between like i've lost i lost my buzzery i got kicked out of <laughs> i got kicked out of breath uh yes i had to retake multiple courses a lot of things have happened i did not have accommodation for some time and believe me my family did not know about most of these challenges at all they did not know <laughs> i didn't tell them well it's difficult being the first one to go to university 
because for them they just know this perfect little girl who did very well in matric and went to university so they kind of expected the same thing to to continue but i guys university is just a different demon to deal with and i hope that i can make more videos about um dealing with failure in university making friends and also maybe reviewing some of like if not all some of the modules that I, I took some of the modules that gave me struggles we were four when we graduated <laughs> yeah it was just four of us uh it was just four of us and i can tell you all four of us had our own struggles with cause and yeah surprise surprise i was the only female student there which was quite like oh come on girls i wish we can see more girls i'm just hoping that maybe in the future there'll be more and more girls graduating and then i was actually supposed to have my graduation in december on the 9th of december 2024 but well for reasons i've explained in one of the shorts i was in russia on that graduation day also i was owing vets then Obviously, my name was automatically removed from the list. And then magic happened. Somehow, vets paid my fees in January. I was able to register for master's in aeronautical engineering. So, yes, as we speak, I sold my soul to vets. Again, doing master's in aeronautical engineering. I'm doing it by research. And, um, yeah, well, it's the devil that I know. You'll kind of see a lot of snaps from my, from my shots about Kind of all of these things that i talked about maybe except the difficult parts <laughs> just the good parts you'll see them on my show there's just so many of the shots that is what i just kept posting like i said since i completed i'm working i don't wake up with anxiety of coursework and exams hey, and all of that i'm much more it is i'm much more comfortable with talking about my own journey i'm much more comfortable with you know just expressing my true feelings about how much i hated school <laughs> but yeah thank you guys uh, i guess i'll see you in the next video